no, 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 no. Is this essential? You are on a no-buy year. If you want to know why a no-buy year is good, both for your finances and your creativity, then keep watching. At the beginning of this year, I decided to do a no-buy year. But what does that mean? Do I really buy nothing at all? Of course not. There are still things that I'm buying. But you will have to be a little bit patient until I enlighten you with what these things are. The main reason why I embarked on this no buy year journey is that I wanted to find an escape out of consumerism. Like so many, I have been tempted to buy things that I actually don't need and all they do is just clutter my space. And to be honest, my life would still have been complete without them. And oftentimes I will just give them away very soon anyway. Or do I actually need an other pair of jeans? Not really. The things that I still allow myself to buy are food. Of course, we still have to eat, but I try to avoid eating out too much. And I have set a monthly budget for how much I want to spend on eating out. Things that I use up like sunscreens or face creams or toothpaste, of course. I replace things that are broken and can't be fixed, but are necessary. Things my kids need, like things for school or for kindergarten or for summer camp. Decent tips. I am very passionate about giving proper tips to service forces and I'm not stopping doing that only because I am on a no-buy year. Netflix and Amazon Prime are essential for me. They might not be for other people, but they are for me because I'm a filmmaker. I'm also teaching film and therefore I have to be up to date with what's coming out. I have a huge list of films and TV series that I'm supposed to watch and Netflix and Amazon Prime are helping me with that task. So it's essential for me. Anything for my mental or physical health. So if others spend quite a lot of money per month on their car to maintain it, then it's just right that we do the same for our very own vehicle, our body. We have to look after it. We have to make sure that we stay healthy, we stay sane, especially when times are tougher than they usually are. And so spending on my well-being is something that I keep up, even during this no-buy year. Books. They are for research, they are for recreation, they are necessary for me. And so I definitely spend on books. I might try to get second-hand books a little more. I try to even get some of the books in libraries, which is a bit trickier when they're closed, of course. But in general, I don't shy away from buying books during the snow by year because for me, they are essential. Finally, plants. Of course they are not entirely essential, but they are good for the soul, they are good for the air and one little indulgent exception I think is good in general for us, otherwise it's too restrictive and yeah, everybody can set up their own rules if they are not allowing themselves to buy plants, so be it, I do. To spend my money reluctantly and only on the things that are essential has already shown a number of benefits. But I'm sure that as the second half of this year is passing by, 
more will be unveiled. Interestingly enough, it has been much easier than I thought it would be at the beginning of this year. And it has been a real eye-opener to my own spending and also to how easily I could be tricked into buying things that are totally unnecessary. This, of course, results in one of the biggest advantages. I spend much less money and I have been able to contribute more to my retirement provision. This is specifically important that we take care of because the times that we could expect a decent pension from the state are long gone. I feel like this first half of my Nopa year has made me financially much savvier than I was ever before. I am also more creative because I have to find solutions for things that I would probably have just bought on a whim. Instead, now I have to think about how I can make things work with the things that I already have, or I have to find a solution or another approach to things than just going to the next job and buy something. And oftentimes I have come to the conclusion after pondering on it, on it for a while that in fact I don't need it at all. And this in itself is a huge insight. No more shopping also means that I have more time for my creative endeavors. I don't waste my time on, on and offline shopping anymore. Instead, I read something inspiring or I go for a walk. And we know what happens when I go for a walk. You have heard enough of my wonderful insights on this wonderful topic for today. If you want to hear more, you can leave a comment below this video. And of course, you will find anything interesting in the description box of this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and also share this wonderful insightful video with anybody you love and admire and adore and share the love with them because it could change their lives. Take care, <laughs> have a wonderful day and see you very soon. Bye bye.